So here's how to use Google Trends in five minutes, starting now. So the first thing you wanna do when you get to the Google Trends homepage is just scroll down until you get to the recently trending section of the page. These are the most popular topics that people are searching for on Google right now. So if you need to create some content or share an article that is gonna drive a lot of clicks today, here you can identify the kinds of topics that you should be talking about or linking to. But the greatest power of Google Trends is understanding the search volume related to a specific topic you're interested in. That's what we're gonna do is go to the search bar at the top and today we're gonna to be looking at socks. And as soon as you hit search, you get given a trend line and automatically we'll get a search traffic for the past 12 months in your country. And the first thing you wanna do is change that country to the region that you're interested in. We're gonna choose worldwide and then the time period you're interested in and always start by maxing it out from 2004 to present. And then straight away, you have the trend line for searches on your topic from 2004 up until today's date. So for socks, the first thing you'll see is that searches started growing about 2008, 2009. This is when the trend for more outrageous socks started and some of the biggest sock companies like Happy Socks and Stance were founded. The growth looks like it's slowed down over the past few years. So you can assume that uh, the market as well has flattened out a little bit. The next thing you see are these peaks and troughs. And what it shows is how seasonal socks really are. If you hover over the peaks, you'll see that every year people are really searching mainly at Christmas. And then over the rest of the year, the search volume really drops. So if we were considering starting a sock company, we should keep in mind that growth has flattened out and it's a really, really seasonal business. So marketing and sales is really gonna happen over the holiday season. So the next thing you wanna do is scroll down until you see related topics and related queries. So both related topics and related queries always default to rising, as you can see up here. This means these are the new topics that are increasing in popularity within the time period that you've selected. So not necessarily the most popular, just simply the things that have been growing the most over that time period. You can, however, change that to top, which is gonna give you the most popular related topics and queries. So this really helps you to understand what trends are increasing in the area you're looking at and can help you decide whether you need to be a little bit more niche or what other topics that you can potentially create content about or pivot towards. So let's choose men's socks. because so we see that it's a very similar pattern to the, the broader topic of socks. Uh, but the problem is with any data point is that you can add so much more meaning to it if you put it in some form of context. So let's add a comparison topic. Women's socks. And when you put a comparison topic into Google Trends, it'll pop up in a different color. So here you can see it appears in red. And what we can see is how the two terms compare when it comes to search volume. So men's socks in blue is very much higher than women's socks in red. So if you're intending on starting a sock company and you want to decide whether to start by selling men's socks or women's socks, the data we're getting from Google Trends says that there's more demand for men's. So one of the biggest sock companies out there is a company called Stance. So let's look at them in Google Trends and let's type in Stance, hit search. And what we're seeing from this is that Stance doesn't seem to suffer from the same seasonality, but the challenge with the search term Stance is that it has multiple meanings. So we need to make sure we're only looking at Stance, the sock brand. So you go to your search term, click on it and choose underwear company. And straight away, we can see these seasonal peaks and troughs that we saw when we were looking at socks as a term more broadly. Another way to do this is go to the categories filter and you can choose by category. So we will choose apparel. So now we're looking at the apparel industry. Let's add a competitor here. Let's type in happy socks. And what we can see is that we've got a lot of redundant data here. So not many people were searching for this for the first few years. So let's narrow down to the past five years. Now we've got a really good picture of stance versus happy socks when it comes, comes to search volume, which can act as a great proxy for sales uh, and performance more generally. So here, maybe we want to invest in the company or choose one to partner with. We can see that happy socks are really winning in the seasonal battles and overall look to have more search volume than starts. What you can then do is scroll down 
and you can see the global picture. So if a country is coloured in blue, it means that more people are searching for stance. If it's coloured in red, it means that more people are searching for happy socks. So we can see that while happy socks wins globally, stance actually dominates in the US, Canada and Brazil, whilst happy, happy socks really dominates in Europe, Russia, India, Australia and South Africa. So that's it. Google Trends in five minutes, done. If you found this video helpful, please help us by giving us a thumbs up. Cheers.